Welcome back to the channel. This is Tom Trips Out. In this episode, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about taking the train. I'm on my way to Pantabal right now, and uh, we're about two hours away, and I'll show you everything that happened on the train ride. My name's Tom, and this is my trip back. Well, hey, everybody, come along with me. Take a trip to a place to find what I see. Make me believe to see the joy they bring. And how much it costs to try new things. Well, come and watch me on the train ride. Okay, it's bright and early, 6 a.m. at the Phnom Penh Royal Railway Station. And the train takes off at 6.40. And they just ask that you show up a half an hour before the train departs so that you can go to the check-in counter and check in. Um, I purchased my ticket online and I went directly to the Royal Railway website and the ticket cost $8.96. You can also buy them through booking apps like Agoda or there's many out there, but they usually add on about another dollar or two dollars. So it's cheaper to go directly to the railway website. And then when you show up, you check in and just show them your ticket on your phone. It's an eight hour ride from Phnom Penh to Batambang and they stop once about four hours in. Halfway through, they stopped at another station, and most, almost the whole train got off. So it was great. Now I can actually sit down. It was so packed before I had to stand. I had a seat, but then I was crowded by some old Cambodian grannies, and they were like falling asleep and putting their legs up on me, and they had bare feet, and I just, I was too squished. I'll show you later in the clip. There's not even enough room for my legs, let alone the other person across from me. Now there's four hours left and it's empty in here, so the second half will be a lot better. So I thought I'd give you some tips if you're thinking about taking the train. Uh, one major thing is it's like eight hours long and I kind of expected that it would make stops and maybe people would, you know, vendors would get on maybe selling food and little drinks and stuff like that. And that doesn't happen at all. So you should come prepared with snacks and food, bring like drinks, stuff like that. It stopped one time, about four hours in, to let people off and you could quickly run out and grab something, but that was the only time and there wasn't much to choose from. So I would suggest hit a convenience store up and get some like water, juice, snacks, maybe sandwiches, bring something you can eat. Because I was kind of stuck the whole time without anything. Another tip I would suggest is, and I didn't notice this till it was too late, but if, you, uh, if you're traveling alone, get to the train early, get, get on so you can find a seat. And there's only a couple seats where it's like the, top, the front of a row, and then there's no bench seat facing you because you're at the very start of the row. And if you're traveling alone or you're tall like me, then you don't have to bash your legs with the person sitting across from you because there is no bench across from you. So try to get a seat at the very first bench in the, in the row and then there's nothing in front of it. I wish I had done that. Bring a, 
bring one of those neck pillows or even just a regular pillow or some kind of travel pillow or maybe a hoodie you can punch up and put your head on. Because it's such a long ride to find yourself trying to lay your head on something to take a nap and I had nothing so I was just like using my backpack and if I had something it would have been a lot more comfortable. And now today my back hurts and my neck hurts. So yeah, travel. And then I thought I'd tell you about my impressions of taking the train. What did I think about it? Would I do it again? Uh, the answer is no, I would not ever take the train again. It was so uncomfortable and I was sort of doing it for the coolness and the no novelty and for the YouTube video, but it wasn't even worth the coolness in my opinion. It's way too long and I'm, I think I'm too tall for those seats. Um, I was just uncomfortable the entire time. If you take a bus, there's some express ones that are like four to five hours only, so like almost half the time. And it's only like $2 more than the train. I'm actually, when I go back to Phnom Penh, I'm taking a, a bus. It's like a 15 person van and they call it a bus. And that should only take like four and a half or five hours. So at least that's a lot better. And the seats are comfortable and it's air conditioned. You have your own little spot, so. If you're wondering, should I take a bus, should I take a train, and I'd say take a bus. But uh, if you have you and like three other friends, and you want to take the train, it, it wouldn't be as bad because you could get two bench sheets facing each other and it would just be you and your own friends, and then it wouldn't be so weird and uncomfortable. I was sitting with some really nice old, old Cambodia, Cambodian grannies, and uh, just a culture difference. They're like leaning on me and putting their bare feet up on me. And I eventually had to get up and stand because I was just not comfortable sitting there getting squished in. So yeah, bring your own friends and it wouldn't be as bad. And well, I hope I shed some light on taking the train. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. And that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember, how you spend your days the way you spend your life, it's never too late to start tripping out.